there is a little bit of drama in MAGA world that I want to update you um, about. This is kind of a fun, <laughs> fun story, I guess, to observe. So twice failed. Let me give you all the characters and then we'll talk about what's going on. Twice failed congressional candidate Laura Loomer is one of the people. Bonkers conspiracy theorist. Super bigoted. Just wild. Marjorie Green. You know, you know about Marjorie Green, and Trump is also involved in this. He's kind of what caused uh, this debacle. But Laura Loomer and Marjorie Green are the ones fighting. Um, so Trump wanted to hire Laura Loomer. And just before we talk about how Marjorie Green plays into this, take a look at this from the New York Times. Former President Donald J. Trump recently told aides to hire Laura Loomer, a far right and anti-Muslim activist with a history of expressing bigoted views for a campaign role according to four people familiar with them with the plant it looks like the trump team has backed off of this because of the blowback but just to give you a sense if you're not familiar with laura loomer she of course is an election denier and all of that but also as the new york times writes she once described islam as a cancer and tweeted under the hashtag hashtag proud islamophobe and she has celebrated the deaths of migrants crossing the mediterranean gosh Oh my God. just horrible people in politics. In 2018, she was barred from Twitter for violating its hateful conduct policy. To protest the ban, Ms. Loomer, who is Jewish, affixed a yellow star of David uh, to her clothes just as, quote, Nazis made the Jews wear during the Holocaust, she said, and handcuffed herself to the entrance to Twitter's New York headquarters. Um, let's see a little bit more here. Um... She was also barred from Lyft and Uber for bigoted remarks toward a Muslim individual. And then, quote, someone asked me, are you pro-white nationalism? This is Laura Loomer. Yes, I'm pro-white nationalism, Miss Loomer said. But there's a difference between white nationalism and white supremacy, right? Yes, both of them are horrible. <laughs> and a lot of liberals and left-wing globalist Marxist Jews don't understand that, she added. So this country really was built as the white Judeo-Christian ethnostate, essentially. Over time, immigration and all these calls for diversity, it's starting to destroy this country. Uh, okay, so that's who the Trump campaign was considering hiring. Pro-ethnostate person pro-white nationalism, anti so many things, very bigoted in particular against Muslim people. And then we get to uh, how Marjorie Green plays into this. So she uh, is against Laura Loomer being hired, not for the reasons that I just outlined, unfortunately, but instead because they've been beefing for quite a while now in regard to the Kevin McCarthy. They used to be supportive of one another, but now because the Kevin McCarthy speakership battle, Marjorie Green supported him, Laura Loomer was against him, and then it got super personal over that and um, maybe some other things. And so Marjorie Green wrote on Twitter uh, saying, Laura Loomer is mentally unstable and a documented liar. She cannot be trusted. She spent months lying about me and attacking me just because I supported Kevin McCarthy for speaker. And after I had refused to endorse her last election cycle she loves the alleged fbi informant and weirdo nick fuentes okay you went to his event and were supportive of him too until a certain period of time she tried to get hired on the yay campaign after the infamous mar-a-lago dinner but kanye west refused to hire her so now she's running to trump never hire or do business with a liar liars are toxic and poisonous to everything they touch i'll make sure he knows and then she links this article um and laura luma responded to that saying Oh gosh, here we go. I'm going to try to do this fast. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, the only liar is you. You hired the foreign national who set up the dinner at Mar-a-Lago and you spoke at the AFPAC where you were more than happy to embrace Fuentes. Yeah, he asked me to work on his campaign and I said no because I told him I endorse Donald Trump, but I support his right to free speech. You are a liar. You have a British foreign national who openly attacks President Trump every day working for you and living in Rome, Georgia. I have the receipts. I have screenshots of you telling me you want me in Congress and that you were uh, going to endorse me. You only changed your mind once you made deals with McCarthy. You're a disloyal liar and you're working with someone who said he quote wanted to uh, make trump miserable by setting him up at mar-a-lago here you are on video in case i need to refresh your memory and this is marjorie green i'll skip to the end being supportive of laura loomer in the past i need i need really great strong bold america first candidates to run 
I need to get them elected, and I'm going to be working very hard supporting Laura and supporting other America First candidates. All okay, supporting Laura, and there was more, but um, you get the point. So these stories are fun because everyone we're talking about is just <laughs> horrible. <laughs> so watching them attack one another is um, perfectly fine with me. And, you know, Marjorie Green calling Laura Loomer a liar, true. Laura Loomer calling Marjorie Trump Green a liar, true. They're all just lying back and forth. Some accurate about what they're saying about what the other person did in certain situations, but generally just very dishonest um, people who, let's, let's just be real, they're not against each other because of how radical and dishonest and all of that either person is. They're um, beefing like this because of sp like specific ego, personal stuff that took place. Um, and then Ali... Alexander, who's a MAGA guy, said MTG says one thing but does another. I can confirm that her attendance at AFPAC was not organic. It was planned, which the press has suspected but never had a source. I can confirm on the record now. She was courting Nick's support. They made him edit part of his speech. And they're referencing, you can see the photo there. If she's going to act like she's uh, so reasonable because she's against Fuentes when she did that, appeared at a white nationalist conference. Um, and was very supportive of him um, at that point in time, but then realized how bad it looked, I guess, and backed off. But bunker stuff and <laughs> fun to watch.